How do you like explain that disconnect between what gold's doing right now and the way that Bitcoin's been acting over the last couple of months? Yeah, so a few factors are at play. One is the unwind of various carry trades and growth, which has been struggling a little bit. And when you look at Bitcoin's correlation with the Nasdaq, it's at a two-year high. It's well below the highs that we had in kind of late 2022, but it's a two-year high. Uh, the second reason is there are four sellers in the market. The German government has sold all of its Bitcoin, $2 billion worth. The U.S. government is selling Silk Road-related coins. There are two major bankruptcies where creditors have just been paid out. That's Mt. Gox and Genesis. So with all this forced selling behind us, and w this is a typical seasonal pattern where Bitcoin tends to struggle in the kind of one to three months after the halving, which was in April, and right pre-election, as the market comes to grips uh, with whatever candidate wins, we're in for four more years of reckless fiscal policy. Uh, the, the history is that Bitcoin really hits its stride at that point. So we're, we're buyers here. We think it recovers. So can you connect the dots for us right now, given everything you've said? The AI trade on this particular move is linked to the power usage and the conversion factor and how to actually make that work. I would argue if you look at a stock like Nextera Energy on the utility side, that has been a derivative AI play as well on this. How do you connect those dots simply, simply about the AI trade versus the Bitcoin miners? The data center companies are trading at north of 30 times, $30 million per megawatt of electrical capacity that they control, $30 million. The Bitcoin miners are trading at $3 million, right? So now it's not a complete one-for-one -one transition. They need to find customers. They need to buy the GPUs or have it, someone else buy the GPUs and install them. But there is an enormous arbitrage. And the companies that have been most aggressive on this year to date, Core Scientific, Terra Wolf, Iris Energy, those are the stocks that have outperformed. We just had another one after the bell at 4 p.m. today, uh, BTBT, $700 million AI deal. Our hunch is that as more of these Bitcoin miners make these announcements, those will be the stocks that outperform because it brings their cost of capital down. All right. It's an interesting trade for sure. Matthew, thank you very much for bringing that to us here. We appreciate it.